Hello everyone, this is Christian from Global Reach, and today we're talking about data retention in Google Analytics 4. Basically, in its simplest way possible, uh, data retention is the amount of time that Google Analytics actually holds on to the data from your website or your app. Uh, so generally speaking, in the realm of data analytics, uh, the longer the better it is for data retention because you want to analyze data over time, over seasonality, over a span of months, years, whatever it is. You generally want to have as much data as possible to make um, a more comprehensive decision. You can make a better decision on a marketing strategy from 12 months of data than you could on maybe uh, two weeks of data. So with this, Google Analytics does have two options to choose from. There, there is two months data retention and there is 14 months data retention. Um, obviously the choice is yours. If you are in a position where two months of data is enough for you, then by all means go ahead and do that. But I would personally recommend or I would generally recommend uh, 14 months as the set time. So let's talk about how to get to that and how to toggle it. So this is the home page of your analytics platform. What you want to do is you want to navigate down here to the admin section. Once you're in the admin section, you want to go down over here into data collection and modification, and you will see the feature uh, that has the magnet icon. It's called data retention. So go ahead and click on that. And here you have the option to toggle it for event data and user data. So what is the difference here? Basically, event data is any sort of events that you have on your website. So if it is a click, if it is a key event, if it is a scroll, those are all events. So if you want to hold on to event data, uh, you can toggle it from 14 months or two months. And then user data is going to be information like a user's age range, if that's available. You have the user's gender, if it's available. You have the city, you have items like that. So. Um, information that is more pertained to the user of our website and not necessarily what they do in the website that is going to fall under user so again you can toggle it the same way you can do two months and you can do 14 months uh, and this option down here uh, reset on new user activity what this means is um, if you have this option turned on what happens is that whenever a user comes to your website, the clock for 14 months or two months resets. So if a user visits um, on Monday, that will be 14 months from Monday. But if they visit on Tuesday, that clock resets and now be 14 months from Tuesday. So um, we leave this on just so if a user comes back, we have that data for you know the next 14 months. If you want to turn it off for whatever reason, that is fine as well. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to leave um, reset on new user activity on. So as you can see here, I have data retention for event data set at 14 months, and I have user data set for 14 months as well. And I have this turned on, so I'm going to click Save. And now it's, it says that we have saved it successfully. I can go back to my home page, and now I know that my data retention is set, and it's going to be set for the next 14 months. So that is all you have to do for data retention. I hope this video was helpful and it gave you what you needed. Thanks a lot for watching and feel free to watch any other tutorials on our page.